For my foundation of biology class, I've signed to choose one scientist as a biology role model. When I heard the role model, the first person that came into my mind was you two, who is the first Chinese Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine and the first female citizen of China to receive a Nobel Prize in any category. She uh, she's also the first Chinese person to receive a Oscar award. So in the past time, when I thought about scientists, the most people came into my came into my mind usually were males from America or Europe. As a Chinese and also the female, I was really proud of her and excited when I heard this news. She was born in nineteen thirty and in a rich and well educated family. So when she was little, she was influenced by her father. So she liked to read medical books since childhood, and had a strong interest in Chinese herbal medicine. But unfortunately, she contracted tuberculosis at age of sixteen, and had to take two years break and receive treatment at home. This experience led her to make a decision to choose medical research for her advanced education and career. She said, "If I could learn and have skills, I could not only keep myself healthy but also care for many other patients." With this idea, she was admitted to the medical department of Beijing Medical College, with excellent grades in 1951. So to treat as a scientist in communist China, however, by the 1960s, the profession was a dangerous job in the central centralist state. Official mistrust intellectuals and scientists, excluding in prison, were punished. Many of them in re-education camps. Many research programs were stopped, and to his own husband. An engineering was detained. Tu herself was recruited for one of the few scientist project going, a secret military one to find an anti-malaria. She felt huge pressure and as a an enforced single mom, Tu had to sign her to a young doctor away in order to continue her research. So in the spare time, she likes to read books and stay with her family, just enjoy her life. And the field she has engaged is traditional Chinese medicine, which basically extracts incense from herbs. So in 1972, she and her colleagues obtained the pure substance and named it Xinhao Su, or Artemisinin, as it is commonly called in the West. Which has saved millions of lives, especially in the developing world. Tu has studied the chemical structure and the pharmacology of artemisinin, and her groups first determined the chemical structure of artemisinin in 1973. Tu wanted to confer the carbonyl group in the artemisinin molecule. Therefore, she accidentally synthesized dihydroartemisinin. She discovered artemisinin and dihydroartemisinin used to treat malaria. And a recent book she has published is called Artemisinin Annual and Artemisinin Drugs, which is basically talking about the method for extracting artemisinin. With ethanol and the purifying ethanolic extracts, there are many extraction method of artemisinin, but there are also many disadvantages. The gasoline process is constant, the process flow is short, and the operation is convenient, but it consumes a lot of gasoline and has some safety problems. Because of a high boiling point, it needs to be recovered by decompression, and the recovery rate is low. The recovery temperature of solvent by ethanol method is difficult to control. The affected components are easily destroyed, and the yield is low. So, for next step, I think she would probably find a more efficient way to extract 
are in Bessania. As a scientist, women, um, especially in the older society, the status of women has not been established yet. In time, her family was broken up, and she was not recognized by the society. But she was not defeated by these difficulties, and she did not give up her original intention of starting a medical career. In the end, she finally fulfilled her mission. So in nowadays, we need more female scientists to break up this stereotype. She's definitely the model in this area. So I think those are the reasons that why I admire her.